Hey guys, today, today me and Andrew are going to be trying uh, four chips flavors. These are the Coney Island Classics. Uh, these are $2.99 at World Market, where we bought them at. I have the um, potato chips with Himalayan pink sea salt uh, with sea salt and vinegar. Uh, we also have smoking barbecue and sour cream and green onion. And they're all 150 calories for 16 chips except for the barbecue, which are 140. So a little less on the barbecue. So, um, so these yeah. bags may look familiar to you because we have had their popcorn. We've had their popcorn. Yeah, and they and they still sell the popcorn. You can still get it. These are these are just. The so if you want to see those, they're on the channel. Yeah, look up Tommy uh, Tommy uh, Allen popcorn. Tommy Allen popcorn. It says uh, we're from Brooklyn. To you, to us, the true magic of Brooklyn is Tommy Allen, land of thrilling rides and delicious snacking. Our ripple potato chips are made the old-fashioned boardwalk way by slicing American heartland-grown potatoes. And a thick slices and cooking them, so they are just perfect. Um, no GMO potatoes, 100% natural, gluten free, no mm. cholesterol, preservatives. Yeah. And they're distributed by Lifestyle Gourmet. Valley Stream, New York. I'm going to put this near Brown. I'm going to put this near Brown. Okay, I'm going to cut these because I, I don't have a clue. I'm not sure. I'm gonna cut them just because I don't want to burst in sure. to tear the bags. Because I would end up, I would end up ripping them down the side. So. We'll just get a couple of them and go crazy. Here we got four different ones. For them. This is a big bag. Too. How much of it is fluff? I always like to see how much is fluff. These are big bags. Let's see. Let's look at the fluff here. <laughs> yeah, that is that. Look at that. That over bend half. it back. Oh. Yeah, it's over half. I mean. Bag. <laughs> oh. I throw one. Wow, that's a rock. It's a hard, almost stale sounding potato chip. That is hard. Um, and there that is, is that, that is like no as, salt. If, as if it was stale. Yeah. I don't know. I got a good bit of salt on mine. I got a little bit. But that's hard. You know what I don't like them? They're super, super potatoey. I mean, like you're eating a raw potato. See, I'm not getting that either. No, it's strong to me. I'm getting... Like you're eating a raw french fry. See, I'm getting... What I was going to... See, now you do taking it right out of my mouth. I was going to say like a... <laughs> I hate to say it this way, like a stale McDonald's french fry. Yeah, no. It's I, not like I, what I it agree. tastes like. I agree. Because it was literally... Because I do get that potatoey french fry taste. Mm -hmm. Like it's a French fry, but but, a, but an old, cold, stale. But see, that's it, let me let me explain. It's not like a kettle cooked crunchy. No, it is a crunchy, slightly cardboardy, chewy. Yeah. chewy. yeah, that's why we get that. That's why I'm getting that stale French that stale French fry type deal. Yeah, I agree, and it tastes. But like, let's see if you know they can come back with the vinegar here. Okay. Maybe we just got an off bag with sea salt and vinegar. Same texture. So that's just their texture now we're learning. That's just the way they do things. Better, because the vinegar covers up some of that potato flavor. It's all vinegar to me. Yeah, I still get a little bit of potato I don't have any salt on. there though. Do you no, mean? no much salt. There's What's the sodium on these? Because I like to know. I, I keep a track in my head. 120, 120 milligrams. So that's 115 like, milligrams. That's like 100 less than some, some other chips. Yeah. Yeah, those are just, I mean, they're not horrible chips. They're not the worst chips I've ever had, but they're not something I'd want to go buy. No, not at, not at, not at three. I mean, three you, you, th you think you're getting this big old bag for three dollars, mm -hmm. but it's literally 90% fluff. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of air in there. 90% bag fluff. Mm. Yeah, you might want to do that on a few of them. I'll give it a shot. I don't want to rip the bag and blow it inside a little. Side method here. Oh, right up. And then, Mine, I couldn't open. Yeah, but if you know if you don't do it slow, you will rip it right inside. He's had no smell. <laughs> That's sad when it's barbecue doesn't have a smell. No? <laughs> no you smell. know what that smells like? A horse barn. <laughs> God, come on. Smell man. that. I did. I did. Smell that. It doesn't smell like a horse barn. Have weedy, hasn't it? Kind horse of like barn. A, like a like the hay in a horse barn. Kind of smells like a bag of Cheerios. Like a wheat. Smells like some of that stuff, Christina. You know we're going downhill when I'm comparing stuff to a horse barn. 
We're honest. We're honest people. I don't like those. What did they put on them? Oh. That's not barbecue. That's some kind of powder. They found it on the back shelf. It's got like bean flavor. <laughs> what is that? It's not good. Let's see. I don't know how you take baked beans and turn it into a powder, but they learned it. They were insulting baked beans. I don't like beans, so I'm insulting their chips. Um, Gosh, that's nasty. That has yeast extract. Uh, paprika, what? torula yeast, Once spice, again, though, onion powder. Gun I've tasted this before, and I don't know. I don't like it. I've tasted something that has that exact same powder on it before. I don't like it. We'll try the next one. Okay. No, not that. Try one of those. Open them. That was a mistake. You know it's bad when you're going for a second chip and saying it was a mistake. No, it's you can't eat just one. Want a pet? <laughs> <laughs> I'll spit this one out. <laughs> that's why they did. That's why that one doesn't have that slogan. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with those bar. The barbecue by far was the worst. I would tell them to stick with popcorn, but spoiler alert. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there you go. That's all we're gonna need. You think they're gonna just they should just go file for bankruptcy? I think they need to try to get into Dollar General as quick as possible. Alright. Those are not bad. They're not as good as like Lay's. Really? But, but they're not bad. I guess I need to eat three. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're not bad, the flavors are like. I get a little bit of the sour cream and onion flavor, a little bit of the onion, but that's, I don't know, maybe that's what makes them better because they didn't flavor them too much. Mm. Out of the four, that's the best one. Because of that barbecue, and it being so... Horrific? Horrific. <laughs> I can't taste these, yeah. so I'm sorry. These have no zero flavor. To yeah, them. I get a little bit of the oniony flavor, but they're still not great. I'm just right back to the original with yeah. these. Well, um, save your money. Don't buy these. They're not very good. What do you think? Um, <laughs> which one is the original? Yeah. And which one is the sour cream and onion one? Yeah, there's no powder. I mean, on you can one. see the little green specks. Dead giveaway for this one, but I mean, it's yeah. just there should be a difference because I know what a good Lay's sour cream and onion yeah. is. Or any kind of onion chip would be better. But yeah, these- Or a Walker's. Anything. Um, I would skip these. I would, personally. I think you agree. Skip them completely. <laughs> yeah, percent Save your money, go buy something else better for $3. It's a pretty, it's a pretty bag. It's a pretty it's bag. Gonna, it's gonna catch your eye. And that's where they spent their money. Most of the time though, find that ugly bag. Those are plain that, ones. That's what you want. Yeah. You want that ugly bag. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.